Hi guys, so welcome to another video. Today's a video I wanted to cover just foundations that are coming out or have come out recently that I'm interested in purchasing. What prompted this video was I received my Ulta book and I'm like, some of this stuff I didn't know you know, was coming out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got excited. Y'all know how I do. So we're going to jump right into it. It should be rather quick. So let's jump right into it. I marked my page. Nana, now where is the page? So the very first thing, and when I went online, today is December the 23rd. When I went online, I did not see it, but it's the Juvia's Place. So Juvia's Place is coming out with a natural radiance foundation in 30 shades for $23. And it says it's a radiant finish, medium to full coverage, long wear, antioxidants, vitamin A plus C. They're also coming out with a powder foundation for in 20 shades for $18. Soft focus matte finish, weightless even coverage, and controls all, all skin types. So I'm gonna show you the picture because I wasn't able to show to find it online at Ulta. So just maybe I don't know if I'll be able to find the picture online, but this is how it's looking. So I'm very interested in that. Y'all know Juvia's Place makes a really good products. Even though I couldn't really get into their foundation that they have out, I'm still willing to try other things from them. So one thing just doesn't stop me from disliking like the entire company. The next up, the next up, the next thing up is... Makeup Revolution. So, you know, Makeup Revolution has the In Real Life Foundation, which I use in 13.7. Love it. Y'all know that's one of my top five foundations. So, they're also coming out with a concealer. A concealer and a translucent powder. So, the uh, and some liquid lipsticks along with lip liners. And they're all affordable. The concealers will be $7.00. which is a good price. So I can imagine, I love the foundation, so I can only imagine how good the concealers are going to be. The concealer comes in 16 shades, and it says that it's a full coverage, breathable, lightweight, blends effortlessly, 16 hours wear, soft matte finish, all free, crease proof, sweat proof, waterproof, cruelty free. I am willing to try that out for $7. I will pick up multiple shades just to give it a try highlight contour and if i can my complexion shade i did notice though that it is not on makeup revolution sites so i'm not sure if alta is going to be the only one that carries it because i went on revolution site and it's not on there but i don't think alta has all of the shades so we'll see they also came out with a lip liner excuse me a liquid lipstick in six shades and they have a dark brown shade which is called americano brown i'm interested in that i'm putting it on the screen too so you can see and also burnt cinnamon which is a dark red blue base shade so i'm interested in that um i think i have probably like one or two make a revolution lip products they're okay they're only five dollars i mean they're not going to like create magic on your lips or anything but they're they are nice the lip liners are five dollars and they had come in seven shades and this is that full coverage color cream formula handy twist up applicator a built-in sharpener which works because y'all know i hate to have to sharpen a pencil they have also the americano brown shade and that also let me see if they have the, yep, and they have the red shade in the lip liner also. So that works out good. They actually have a white shade. If you can see, they have a white shade. Not quite sure what, was, what someone would do with a white lip liner, but you never know. You just never know. And I'm going to throw in there for an honorable mention, CoverGirl. CoverGirl is coming out with some eyeshadow palettes, some, some quads. Nine of them. 
as you can see. These colors is reminding me of the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, but could be different. Can't really say that I have any eyeshadow from Color CoverGirl. I have a lot of their complexion products, concealers, powders, but no eyeshadow. So I'm very interested in this. And right now, Ulta is having buy two, get one free. So that works out. Also, Revlon. Which where is it? It's probably not even on my desk no more. No, it's over there. But y'all know I just reviewed the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. So they're coming out with a, a luminous skin caring foundation in 28 options. Ulta currently has some shades, not all the shades. I feel like they are slightly out of stock. Don't know if they ever had them. If it went out of stock, I'm just late. I don't know. Boost Skin Radiance, Increase Skin Elasticity in 4 Weeks, Reduces Appearance of Skin Roughness in 4 Weeks, Made Without Parabens or Synthetic Fragrances, Medium Coverage. So that's a medium coverage and it's illuminating. Y'all know I'm only combo, but I have no problem having a little shine here and there. I'm just obsessed with trying new foundation. It's just something about new foundations because you you never know. You might get that one that just that you'll just wear for as long as they make it, like the Mac Studio Fix NC50. That's what I am. I have been wearing for ten plus years, so I'm always interested in trying a new foundation because you just never know. Another one that I've already tried on my channel is the True Match by L'Oreal in the shade C8 Cool. And, it, you know, it used to come in a small bottle with a silver top. Not quite sure if that if this is just the same foundation in a bottle with a pump or they reformulated it. But either way, I absolutely love this foundation. It could have a little more golden in it. I think I'm going to pick up the LA Girl pigment to mix with it to give me, a, I say gold, a little more yellow. Gold, not a, a little more yellow in here just to take some of the redness out and I'll be okay. But I really like this foundation. So let me tell you about this foundation. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It comes in 47 shades and it's formulated with up to six pigments for the most precise match. It has a lot, a lot of shades. I just feel like if I go down, it's going to be too light, right? And if I go up, it's going to be too dark. This shade that I have, C8, is the perfect shade. The undertone is wrong. I think the undertone has a little bit more red than I'm used to wearing in it. So that's the problem I have with that. Super blendable. It's, it's like you can't tell where your foundation ends and your skin begins. Locks in moisture and provides medium coverage with a natural finish that adapts to any skin color and texture. So yeah, I love it. And... I just need to add more yellow to it. Another thing that I have reviewed on my channel, you would have seen the uh, video by now. Let me fix this microphone. Okay. It's the NYX Bear With Me Blur. I have the shade 16 Warm Caramel. That's what I have on my face now, all over my face. And then 15 Warm Honey to highlight with. And... What can I say about this foundation? I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I feel like I just need it to be, I just need it to be just a little tiny bit darker. Just a little tiny bit darker and I will be good. So I'm going to see, I'm going to check out shades 17 and 18. 17 and 18 because I think those are, the, like that would be my only option so hold on this comes in 24 shades and it says that it's a blurring non-greasy formula 
helps controls shine all day without looking cakey, ashy, or chalky. Plus, the lightweight foundation delivers up to 16 hours of comfortable transfer and fade-resistant wear and up to 12 hours of hydration. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this foundation, if you plan to try it out or if you're just going to pass. And it just dawned on me that I have the Bear With Me Concealer and I absolutely love the Bear With Me Concealer. So I can see why I really like this foundation. It's just sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes you can get your right shade and sometimes it's like you got to work a little harder to get it. And I know that sucks, but... That's the world we live in right now. How many, how much stuff did I just talk about? Let me put my chair up. I feel like I'm far away. How much stuff did we just talk about, y'all? Okay, one last thing. So this video isn't long because I really wasn't like giving specific details. I just really wanted to sit down and talk to y'all. On Amazon, I tried Ulta, I tried Revlon, I tried the drugstores. None of them have it. The only place I see it is on Amazon. And it's the Revlon Lipstick Color Stay Suede Ink with built-in primer infused with vitamin E, waterproof, smudge-proof, matte color. Yeah, <laughs> all of that. So the two shades I'm interested in, I'm going to pop right here. The first shade is Breadwinner. I'm always going to go with the red shade. I love red on my dark skin. Absolutely love it. The second one is, I think that's it, Power Trip. And I don't know why I'm gravitating toward this shade, as you can see. But for some reason, I just feel like if I mix it with my... My MAC Night Moth in that lipstick, it'll give me a pretty, pretty, it'll give me a pretty soft combination. Just trying lip, different lip combos, trying to come up with something that works for me, something that I feel comfortable wearing, just trying something different other than my brown lip liner in a nude shade in the middle, just trying to come up with different lip combinations and nothing is wrong with that. So drop down and let me know what other new products you have seen. I'm quite sure there's new eyeshadow palettes out there, new everything out there now. It's the big, it's almost the beginning of 2023. So you know we're going to have a lot of new stuff and I am ready for it. I just love to shop for makeup and I'm quite sure a lot of you all do also. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I know I'm all over the place. This is like an impromptu, 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 impromptu video. I just wanted to sit down and talk. And plus, I just had completed a video. So I'm like, I wanted to talk about some new makeup. Yeah. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye. On it. What? I'm not talking to you.